Medal of Honor, the highest honor a grateful nation can award its military heroes for acts of courage, self-sacrifice, and dedication above and beyond the call of duty. The history of America's survival is written in the blood of its fighting people whose devotion knew no limits. For the past 50 years, fighting men who wore the silver wings came from all over America when their country called. They learned to fly, they learned to fight, and they never flinched from facing combat. Some lived through two world wars. Many paid the full price. This is their story. Nineteen seventeen. America's hope for peace sank with the Lusitania. The United States had been thrust into war with Germany. Overnight, a million men sprang to arms. Thousands volunteered for the new air service. One of those volunteer air service pilots was to write a shining page in our history. Edward V. Rickenbacker of Columbus, Ohio. For the young air service volunteers, equipment was non-existent or crude. Training was elementary and basic. Yet from their first field in Texas to the real thing in France, they carried a spirit that would surmount these handicaps. They flew flimsy craft of wood and canvas construction, patched up planes and rejects. With these, they strafed ground troops, provided reconnaissance, and in spectacular battles, destroyed enemy aircraft. By the time the first American army had taken the front lines from the Argonne Forest to the Meuse River, they had proven the emerging value of air power. The final push to defeat the enemy began in September 1918. By then, pilots of the 1st Pursuit Group were experienced, battle-trained veterans. The 1st Pursuit Group had 103 confirmed victories in just 30 days, from September 12th to October 12th, 1918. October 19th, Major General Patrick decorated more than 20 pilots of the 1st Pursuit Group, including Captain Rickenbacker. Rickenbacker had been promoted to acting captain and leader of the 94th Squadron, September 24th. He was a superb pilot, a keen student of flying tactics, and a fine leader. By the end of World War I, Rick's total of 28 confirmed victories made him America's leading ace. The final chapter of World War I's air action was written at Washington, D.C., with President Hoover looking on when General Fesche presented Captain Rickenbacker with the Medal of Honor and read the citation which began, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity, above and beyond the call of duty, in action against the enemy near Beely, France, 25 September 1918. On that day, Rickenbacker, while on a voluntary patrol over the lines, attacked seven enemy planes. Disregarding all odds against him, he successfully downed two German aircraft and returned safely to his home base. The daring and devotion of this World War I hero, Captain Eddie Rickenbacker, earned him a permanent place in history among the defenders of America. He blazed a glorious trail in the sky for many thousands of pilots yet to be born, who in their time would rise to meet the challenge of all enemies who threatened our freedom.